convinced having uh, looked at both the landscape and the wildlife resources that we've seen here, the potentially abundant wildlife resources, that investing in wildlife is not in place of investing in people, it is part of investing in people. And in the uh, South Sudan context, uh, the development of a wildlife sector and its conservation could mean investment for the country, it could mean livelihoods for the youth, it could mean a development and consolidation of peace, and so on all of those grounds we think uh, it's an important area that uh, government should support and that the international community should support. There's been very little investment in conservation in South Sudan since the 1970s and that investment stopped when the fighting started again in 1983 and I felt for a long time like a lone voice saying to people please don't abandon or forget the parks and reserves and the wildlife of South Sudan. There may have been horrendous problems for human beings but in the future if they can at least preserve and protect the parks and reserves, we know from other countries in Africa that wildlife will come back after a war. Ten days ago found huge groups of animals here between these two rivers. This is the Kangan River, which is the western boundary of the park. There are therefore a lot of coal and sometimes other animals too. We think there are elephants in a fairly thick country down here. We may even see elephants. So when people ask where have you gone, A typical modern investment in conservation starts with getting the green light from the government, which a number of organisations are beginning to get, and then it has to continue with what we always call the community. That's a rather overused word, but of course it means the people who live around, nearby, and will be affected by any kind of rules and regulations about parks. If you don't have the goodwill and support of the community, your programme will fail.
we are all together there, is to be a holistic model. The uh, bishop came up with this idea of uh, The first thing is to make sure that uh, the development, conservation and management of wildlife is done on behalf of the community and with the community. So we would want to insist that uh, effective wildlife programs uh, take place where the community feels they are a part of the solution and a beneficiary uh, of this resource. Um, Secondly, what has been apparent to us flying across this vast area is that there is a considerable resource in, this, uh, in, in, the, in the land which is unutilized. And there shouldn't be a question of animals competing for land. The land is available. It's a question of establishing the necessary infrastructure to protect the wildlife and to make use of it. We very much appreciate the idea, and uh, and that uh, we in Eastern Equatoria will definitely support and, and look forward for uh, donor community to support this program in Eastern Equatoria, uh, and we also continue to mobilize the citizen uh, and to agree and buy the idea of uh, wildlife conservation. That is mean to stop. They are killing the wildlife and work with partners that will come and implement the program.